tree diagrams. So they are pretty useful. They can be used to show either conditional or independent probabilities. We'll have a look at this example. Ben plays football. The probability that his team wins is a half, that they lose is three tenths, and a draw is two tenths. If they win, the probability that they get a mention in assembly is nine tenths, but if they lose or draw, it's only one fifth. We want to work out the probability that Ben's team gets mentioned in assembly. So let's set this up as a tree diagram. They can either win, lose, or draw, and then after that has happened, the probability of getting a mention will note down as mention or not mention with that little dash. So after a win, it could be nine tenths, which means the probability of not getting a mention is one tenth. After a loss or a draw, it's one fifth for a mention and four fifths for not being mentioned. So the probability of being mentioned are those three just there. So we need to look at each of those branches. So going along that branch, we are multiplying half by 9 tenths to get 9 twentieths. Next weight that they could get a mention would be 3 tenths times 1 fifth. And the final way they could get a mention is 2 tenths times 1 fifth. Now there's three different options there that would lead to them being mentioned in assembly. So we add up those three. So the key ideas are that if we're going along the branches, that means that we can say that it's an and, so like an, they won and got a mention in assembly, that means that we need to multiply. And if we're looking between the branches, that's where we can say or, and it means that we would add up those different possibilities. If we think about this as um, tossing uh, two coins, we can have heads or tails followed by heads or tails. So how could we get a head and a head? That would be that top branch there. So we're going along the branch. That means we would have to multiply those probabilities. How about getting one of each? That would be either a head and a tail or a tail and a head. So going along those branches means we would multiply. We can do one or the other of those branches. So we would add those together. And that's all there really is to tree branches, uh, sorry, tree diagrams. So you can use this to try and help make some of your problems a bit easier. So there's not much to them. They're quite easy to do. They can make your problems um, easier to work out. You just need to be careful with your setting out and make sure that you get everything nice and neat and tidy and leave yourself plenty of room.